Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a couple projects here for actually other people. I'm not going to be working on any of my cars or vehicles today, but I am going to be doing some car work. So my friend Dustin, who's Civic you've seen in one of the uh, coilover install videos, uh, he brought in a fender, a replacement fender here. We're going to scuff it down, throw some paint and clear coat on it, and get his car ready for the cars and coffee this coming weekend here in, uh, in town. So he, his fender actually had a little bit of rust on it. And instead of actually doing uh, some body work, trying to grind that rust down and fix it, he just bought a replacement fender and we're gonna throw a coat of paint on there and get it going temporarily because he's actually got a new front end on that uh, Civic on the way, a, a Civic Type R front end. So this is really just a temporary measure to help the car look a little bit better. And uh, the next thing we're gonna be doing, is since we ha we'll have clear coat in the gun, is to uh, clear coat these headlights here. These are actually JDM uh, One Piece Integra headlights. Uh, my friend Craig, he brought these over here to me because I was asking him what he was going to use to protect these uh, from the sunlight, like UV damage. And instead of putting uh, like some of the coatings you can find, rub it on there, it's only a temporary measure. I suggested well, we go ahead and just like sand these down and throw a coat of clear on them. That way they'll last a whole lot longer and you can buff them out and keep them looking shiny and new for a whole lot longer. So that's what he did. So I'm going to actually be sanding these down, getting them cleaned up, masked off, and I'm going to be using the clear coat from uh, the gun after we spray the fender to spray in these headlights. So let's get started on this. got it all scuffed up with the gray pad but I've got a few little spots here that show some sanding scratches from where they uh, prepped it before they sent it off so I'm gonna actually uh, take some 800 grit and try to sand it down real lightly try to smooth out this primer just a little bit that way these scratches aren't visible after we paint it My next step is actually going to be to take uh, 1000 grit sandpaper, wet it down, and start sanding the surface of these. That way the clear coat has something to stick to.
All right, so with the headlights sanded with 1000, I've got them masked off and I've got them covered up and I've got the fender all scuffed up, ready for paint. Um, I'm really just ready to mix the paint up, I'll wet the floor down like you saw me do, and then we're ready to spray. So I'm gonna get open this paint up, uh, mix it up at a one-to-one -one ratio with the medium reducer that Dustin brought me, get the paint gun, and we're gonna start spraying. With our base coat sprayed, we're ready to mix up our clear and get it ready. And then we're gonna wipe down the headlights and then spray the clear in. So this is a four to one mixing ratio. Let's mix it up and get it put in the gun.
got everything sprayed in with clear coat and it looks really good. Uh, the headlights especially look good because they're you know small surface and it's smoothed over really well. And if uh, we have to, we can sand some of that orange peel out. Uh, it's not real bad at all. I think uh, Craig's going to be really happy with them and they're going to last a whole lot longer than had he not uh, clear coated them and just sanded them down. And as far as Dustin's fender is concerned, um, it, it looks really awesome as well. There's a few little specks of dust in it, nothing major at all. There's a little bit of orange peel. It's not too bad. It almost looks like a like an OEM style orange peel. We'll have to get it on the car and compare it um, and to see if we need to sand it down and try to smooth some of that orange peel out. But I threw three uh, coats of clear on there so we should have enough clear to smooth it out until he's happy with it. So I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this video. I know it's a little shorter and a little bit quicker uh, project than I normally do. But uh, I do stuff like this a little bit here and there, and I figured I'd just share it with you guys. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the next episode.